We frequently refer to our expanding world with one word, space. But more importantly, where does space begin and what exactly is it? Space is a near-perfect vacuum, devoid of substance and shallow pressure. Sound does not travel over space because there are no molecules near enough to transmit sound between them. Bits of gas, dust, and other materials float around emptier sections of the universe, whereas more crowded places contain planets, stars, and galaxies. Welcome to today's video. Today we step into a vast expanse of useless, yes useless, facts that can seem like surprisingly new information about this vast and strange place that holds so many secrets just as much as its crazy wide size. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to share the video and keep waiting for more exciting content. Let's get started. 11 Most Interesting and Useless Facts About Space Number 11. When you place your finger over a star in the sky, you are preventing photons from entering your eye that has been traveling to Earth undisturbed for millions of years. Photons are the fundamental unit of light. They are created in the core of a star and will travel for millions of years before reaching Earth. When you use your finger to block off a star in the sky, you are preventing million-year-old photons from accessing your retina. If they contain the same energy, all photons are identical to all other photons of that energy. Protons are the same as other protons, and neutrons are similar. These particles are characterized by their mass, electric charge, and a feature known as spin. Number 10. Do you know where the coldest place in the cosmos may be found? What about the hottest? They're both right here on Earth, after all. They were, after all. The coldest recorded temperature in the universe, negative 273 degrees Celsius or absolute zero, was achieved in a lab on Earth. The Large Hadron Collider also created the hottest recorded temperature since the universe began with the Big Bang, 5.5 trillion degrees Kelvin. Things that are hot move swiftly, while cold ones move slowly. Atoms are at absolute zero when they come to a complete stop. At an average temperature of 2.7 Kelvin, space is barely above that, about minus 455 degrees Fahrenheit. However, space is primarily made up of, well, empty space. It is unable to move at all. Number 9. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is so massive that even at the speed of light, traversing it would take 100,000 years. The Milky Way galaxy is a massive collection of stars, dust, and gas. It's termed a spiral galaxy because it looks like a spinning pinwheel when viewed from the top or bottom. The sun is placed on one of the spiral arms, some 25,000 light years from the galaxy's center. Even if one could travel at the speed of light, it would take you around 25,000 years to reach the center of the Milky Way. Number 8. And, in around 4.5 billion years, the Milky Way is anticipated to collide with our nearest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, to form a giant elliptical galaxy. Elliptical galaxies, unlike spiral galaxies, are not maintained by rotation. The orbits of the constituent stars are random and frequently very long, resulting in a galaxy shape dictated by the speed of the stars in each direction. Faster traveling stars can go further before being turned back by gravity, resulting in the formation of the elliptical galaxy's long axis in the direction these stars are moving. Number 7. There is a planet in Milky Way where temperatures can reach over 1,000 degrees Celsius throughout the day and it may shower molten glass horizontally at speeds of up to 4,500 miles per hour. A blue marble alien planet is only 63 light years away from Earth, yet it is hostile to life. According to researchers, the blue color in the atmosphere is most likely caused by a rain of molten glass. According to experts, this super hot glass rain is just one result of the gas giant extraterrestrial planet HD 189733b's near closeness to its sun, which allows daytime temperatures to climb as high as 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 6. So we all know that light travels slowly through space, right? There are some portions of the universe that we can't see because the light from there hasn't yet reached us. Since the Big Bang, light has only had a finite amount of time to travel, and our best estimate is that it has traveled around 46 billion light years in that time. No one has seen the Milky Way or has any idea we exist beyond that distance, and we have never received light from those places either. We can currently see a sphere of the universe that is 90 2 billion light years across. Outside of that sphere, there is another universe, a concealed, filtered universe. We can't see the universe since the light hasn't yet reached us. Fortunately, with each passing year, a bit less of the universe is erased from the record, and the sphere we can witness grows by one light year. Number 5. Did you know there are an estimated 500,000 particles of space debris drifting above the Earth at rates of up to 17,500 miles per hour? Space trash is simply whatever we've carelessly left floating around in space. Rocket fragments, dead satellites, and so on. This material can range from a discarded rocket stage to a minuscule paint chip. 
much of the debris is in low Earth orbit within 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles of the Earth's surface. However, some is 35,786 kilometers, 22,236 miles above the equator in geostationary orbit. The U.S. Space Surveillance Network tracked more than 15,000 bits of space debris greater than 10 centimeters, 4 inches, across 2021. It is believed that there are approximately 200,000 fragments ranging in size from 1 to 10 centimeters, 0.4 to 4 inches, and that there may be millions of bits smaller than 1 centimeter. Number 4. It's also true that a piece of debris crashes back to Earth around once a week on average. An entire team of researchers is dedicated to following space debris and monitoring the risk of it impacting Earth. As far as we know, no one has died due to being hit by a piece of old satellite. The amount of trash in Earth's orbit is increasing due to discarded rocket stages, broken satellites, and micrometeoroids. Scientists are developing strategies to tackle the menace of space junk and orbital debris collisions. Although most debris turn to burn up in the atmosphere, bigger debris objects can reach the Earth intact. According to NASA, for the past 50 years, an average of one cataloged piece of debris has come back to Earth every day. Despite their magnitude, the debris caused no substantial property damage. Burning up in the atmosphere may also lead to air pollution. Number 3. But here's the thing, there's a phenomenon known as the Kessler Effect, which states that a single damaging event in Earth's low orbit might force all satellites to shatter into smaller and smaller bits until the planet is engulfed in a vast cloud of debris. This would make it nearly hard to ever depart Earth. The Kessler Syndrome is named after Donald Kessler, a former NASA scientist who proposed the basic concept in a crucial 1978 study. The Kessler Syndrome explains and warns of a cascade of orbital debris that could impede humanity's future space ambitions and operations. The original research anticipated that satellite collisions would become a source of space junk by 2000, if not sooner, unless humanity changed the way payloads were sent into orbit. However, a timetable is not required for the main idea. Number 2. A rogue supermassive black hole is hurtling through space at around 5 million miles per hour. A black hole is found in every galaxy, but it has been ejected out of its home galaxy, 3C186. This is most likely the result of two galaxies colliding, which may have brought both black holes together. Astronomers believe it will break free from its galaxy and traverse the universe in 20 million years. Don't be fooled by the name, a black hole is anything but empty space. Instead, it is a large amount of matter compressed into a very small space. As a result, nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational field. NASA instruments have recently drawn a new picture of these unusual objects, which many can considered to be the most fascinating objects in space. Number 1. The Voyager 1 spacecraft will most certainly outlive the planet Earth. The probe launched in 1977 to examine Jupiter and Saturn is currently on its second journey outside of the solar system. It will now spend the rest of its life drifting through intergalactic space. The Sun will most likely vaporize the Earth in a few billion years, whereas Voyager 1 will most likely still be traveling through space. Voyager 1 and its sister ship Voyager 2 have remained in orbit for the longest time of any spacecraft in history. The Voyager missions are not only supplying humanity with observations of genuinely undiscovered areas, but they are also assisting scientists in understanding the very nature of energy and radiation and space-critical information for protecting future missions and personnel. And that's the end of your most useless bunch of space facts. Until we catch you with another interesting video, keep watching and waiting for our exciting contents coming up soon.